first date, do's and don'ts. How do you get the date? What do you do on the date? And what comes next? I'm Laurel House, and I'm an international dating coach, flirting expert, and author of many books, including Screwing the Rules, The No Game's Guide to Love. So when it comes to dates, should you go online, get a matchmaker, meet in person? I say do all three. Allow them all to feed into each other, because you can learn different dating, flirting, and communication skills from all of them. One thing I really like about online is that you're able to pre-qualify your dates before you go on the date, so that you never have to have that situation again where you sit down and within five minutes you know, oh God, this was a mistake. They are totally not my type. Because you're pre-qualifying them ahead of time, and you can actually have a lot of fun online dating. At the end of the day, you want to lift your spirits, you go online and you see all of these great people who are potential matches for you. The downside, it is oftentimes a little bit of a numbers game, and sure, you may be dating or looking at five people at once, but so is the person who you're interested in. Matchmakers are fantastic because they're looking for someone who you have explained exactly. They're trying to find your perfect match or they're trying to find someone who they think is better for you than you think is good for you. Meeting someone just out on the street at the grocery store at a party is also fantastic because you have that initial hit of chemistry. The danger is that while love may be blind, chemistry can be blinding. So you might not be aware of some of those red flags because you're so hit by the high of chemistry. So do all three, or if you don't want to do a matchmaker, just do online and in person. Now. When it comes to what people are looking for, does wealth matter? Or what do people really want? Wealth can matter, yes. But it's not always about you being the richest person. It's about how well you care for yourself. How well can you care for me? Now, that's not to say that all men or women are looking for someone to be their sugar daddy or um, their cougar. It's just about having someone who can take care of themselves and might be able to help you out too if you need it. Or, you know, yes, women tend to like guys who have some money. They do because it makes them feel more like a woman when they're being cared for by their man, and that is a traditional gender role. So I like gender roles, but it's not just about the guy being super, super wealthy. What's more important than that is are my list of needs being met. Needs are not rich. Needs are not tall, dark, and handsome, or big boobs and a perky butt. Those are not needs. Those are wants. Being aware of your needs are, do I feel safe? Do I feel sexy? Do I feel seen? Seen means, can I be vulnerable? Can I be my true self and still be loved for that? Other needs, communication. Someone who can be financially supportive or at least contribute. Someone who has shared core values. Those are actual needs. So what you're truly looking for in a relationship are those things, which means that that's also what you're truly looking for when it comes to dating, and that goes into the pre-qualifying with online dating. Now, what should you do on a first date? What are people actually looking for? Manners, attitude, style of dress, all of them. <laughs> it's, a first date is essential because it really sets the precedent for the rest of your relationship. So the way that you act, um, um, the man being the man, selecting the restaurant, taking the lead, not being domineering, but being a little bit dominant. The woman being a little bit feminine. That doesn't mean weak. That means power feminine. Be yourself, your authentic self on a date. Does that mean that you should pick your nose if you do that at home and show up in your sweats? No. Be your best self. Your best self and your authentic self. That's what you need to be on a date. Who cares if they're looking for something different? Because if they are, that's not you. And that's okay. So now when it comes to communication, how do you keep the conversation going on a date? Well, don't just talk about surface things unless you're looking for a fleeting relationship. Talk about things that are substantive but still fun. Storytelling. Storytelling is one of the most basic ways to connect. We've been doing it 
throughout history. So what do you talk about? You talk about your core values, but you're not saying, I am compassionate, I am family oriented, I am ga 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 ga. That's boring. You tell your, your core values in the form of stories. I'll, I call them framing your stories. So you put your story in a frame that has an up, down, up. So the up is something fun, down, go vulnerable, up, fun again. You want to express some vulnerability because that's how you connect, right? It's that idea of me too. When you get vulnerable, the other person is going to then get vulnerable. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. They're going to get vulnerable also, and then you're going to connect on that me too level. So tell stories, but don't go on and on and on and on and on. You want to tell a short story that is focused and has a couple of details that you peak up so that you create some excitement within. Make the person feel like they're on a journey with you. You also want to voice your needs, which we just talked about, but your needs, again, in the form of story. Now, if the first date goes really well and you want a second date, well, there's no harm in asking for that second date on the date, not before the appetizers have dropped, but at the end of the date. I had a really good time. I would love to see you again. The woman can do that too because she needs to give the guy permission to ask her out. She's not the one who's going to say, how about going on a date again? Let's go out next Friday night. No, that is the man's job to ask for the date. But the woman can invite the man to ask her for the date. So basically saying, I'm interested. If you ask, I'll say yes. That's okay. Then it's the woman's job to text after the date. Text that night or the next day saying, thank you so much, really enjoyed going out with you, would love to see you again. Um, and maybe bring up something that you guys had talked about. But remember the rule of thumb. You don't want the text to be longer than your thumb. If the date goes incredibly well, is sex on the first date okay or taboo? You know what? It can be okay if you pre-qualified well enough beforehand. I'm talking extensive email conversations. Having a phone call that was at least an hour long so that you really share who you are, who they are, what you're looking for, what your core values are, who you are as a human being. And then if you get that hit of you know chemistry and connection and you really want to have sex on the first date, fine, but be safe. And open your mouth before you open your legs, which means communicate. What are your needs? What are your, what's your purpose? Some people go on a first date and it's like, that's it. I want to be with you. Let's be in a relationship. I know you so well because we talked so openly and authentically and honestly, and that's fine. But be aware of how you are after sex. If you're the type of person who gets totally needy, who assumes that you're in a relationship, who freaks out, who shuts down, who uses sex as an alternative to being emotionally present or just as escapism, sex on the first date is not for you. Um, so you need to know yourself. Allow sex to be what it is fun. It allows you to connect. But again, it's not for everyone on the first date. And just because you have sex on the first date doesn't mean that you're a slut. It means that you're going with your passion. You're going with that excitement. Just make sure that you are safe emotionally and physically. I know that was a ton of information, but it's the basic do's and don'ts on a first date. I hope to see you soon on my website, screwingtherules.com, where you can get tons more advice and maybe even we can work together personally. See you guys soon.